Solving Percentage Word Problems, Part 1. Formula for Calculating Percentage. As you may have guessed, we are going to be covering the formulas for the three different percentage problems. And yes, we'll also be doing examples as well. Before we get started, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. Okay, let's get started right now. Warning, viewer discretion is advised. This video is made for apprentices and may contain scenes that are over explained and may not be appropriate for your skill level. Formula for calculations of percentages. Before you can get started, you need to be able to identify the parts of a problem. The three parts we want to identify is the rate, the base, and the percentage. Basically, all of the percent problems have these three parts in them. You need to identify them to be able to utilize the correct formula. In most cases, you have to identify two of them to be able to solve for the third. In most cases, the percent sign is associated with rate. So when you see the percent sign, think rate. Rate can also be written as a fraction or a decimal. The word of is associated with base. So whenever you see the word of, think of base. Base is the entire amount, total, or the original amount. Is is associated with percentage. So whenever you see the word is, think of percentage. It is a portion of the base. The amount after the base and rate are calculated. The formula. This is your standard formula, but for our examples, we're going to simplify it a little bit more. I'm going to show you the three main formulas. Take a moment to jot them down or take a screenshot. This is the formula for rate. This is the formula we're going to use to calculate percentage. This is the formula we're going to use to calculate the base. Examples of identifying rate, base, percentage in a word problem. The trade specific word problems are going to be in part two of this video. Problem number one. Find the percentage given the base and the rate. What is 32% of 71? First we need to identify percentage, base, and rate. Have you identified the base and the rate yet? Percent sign has an association with what? The association of percent is with rate, so therefore 32% is the rate. Of 71, the of is associated with base, so therefore the base is 71. Now that we have our rate and our base, now we can calculate the percentage. Well, now we can switch out our base to 71, then we're going to have to switch out our rate to 32. So 71 times 32 is going to be 2,271 divided by 100, which gives us 22.72. Therefore, what is 32% of 71? It is 22.72. Problem number two. Find the rate given the base and the percentage. What percent of 135 is 25? First, we have to identify our percentage, our base, and our rate. Let's take a look at the of word. Of 135. Of is associated with base. The word is is associated with percentage. This is the formula that we're going to use to calculate rate. Let's substitute our base. So therefore, our base is 135. Now it's time to substitute our percentage. Our percentage is 25. So 25 times 100 is 2,500. Divided by 135, our rate is 18.5151. We'll just round it off to 18.5. Therefore, what percent of 135 is 25? 18.5%. Problem number three. Find the base given the rate and the percentage. 555 is 25% of what number? Again, we first have to identify the percentage, the base, and the rate. Let's take a look at the first keyword, is. Is is associated with percentage. The percent sign is associated with rate. This is the formula that we're going to use to calculate the base. It's substitution time. Let's swap out our percentage first. So 55 is our percentage. The rate is 25. 550 times 100 is going to be 55,500 divided by 25 is going to be 2,220. Therefore, 550 is 25% of 2,220. Now that we can identify the rate, the base, and the percentage, and we know our formulas, 
we can move on to much more difficult word problems dealing with percentages. But that's another video. Make sure you watch Solving Percentage Word Problems Part 2. Also, if you want to see other great videos, check out my YouTube channel, Shop in Math. If you have any comments or questions about this video, or would like to suggest other videos, please leave them in the comments section below. Also, if you got any value out of this video, please like and subscribe. It's free, and it'll help me out. All you have to do is click on the icon on my face, and I'll do the rest. Thank you, and have a great night.